when we're talking about graphing angles, we so commonly talk about graphing angles in terms of pi, right? Because when we talked about our definition of a radian, first of all, we measured, you know, we said the radian, the radian came from the, the length of the radius, right? That was your radius. And if you take your radius and, you know, put it in hot water, right? So therefore, you can wrap it around the circle, we created the distance of one radian. So if you rotate your angle from here to here, theta is 1, as in 1 radian, right? So if I do two radians from here to here, theta is equal to 2, right? And then how did we even come up with pi? Well, we added another one, right? And we said from here to here was three radians. So therefore, all the way around a circle was pi radians. That's where pi, remember, we came from. But don't forget what we originally talked about was where did even pi come from? Pi is the number of radians that it takes to go halfway around a circle. So yes, a lot of the times we're going to be dealing with angles in terms of radians. You're correct. Um, however, just if you just have a number without a degree symbol, it's still in radians. It just tells you how many radians you have around a circle. OK? Make sense? So your angle was right here. That's what two, sh two radians would look like. All right? All right.